Hey YouTube, time for a reef update, March 2018. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with an update on the reef tanks for 2018, the month of March. Sorry I didn't get anything out in February, but it was just a crazy month and things didn't work out, so I really didn't do any YouTube videos in that month. Um, but we're going to uh, kind of just take you through both tanks and give you some updates and show you what I've got going on. Alright, we're going to start by just looking at the 125 gallon. Um, things are going pretty well overall in this tank. Um, with a few exceptions obviously, but I'll just kind of start over here and take you through. Um, the uh, green trumpets are doing great. All the fish seem to be doing well. I've added some livestock. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, the uh, Monty's up on the top are really showing growth. Uh, Toadstool's doing well. Um, Duncan doesn't seem to be doing the greatest, so I'm looking at uh, trying to figure out maybe if I should move it or something. Um, this uh, leather right here, kind of a weird deal happened. Um, it all of a sudden closed up. It's still kind of closed. I don't know if you remember, it used to almost look like a hand. My wife says it looks like a hand giving you the middle finger, but um, it all of a sudden closed up and all the polyps, the green polyps on there were just gone. It was shriveled up basically to something very small. And I let it sit for a week or two, seeing if it would bounce back. And honestly, I was going to pull it from the tank and then the night I was gonna do it, I got kind of tired and I just didn't get around to it. The very next day, I came out when the lights had been on for a couple hours, and it, all of a sudden there was, you know, like, I'm going to call them arms, but one of the arms started having the green polyps back on it. I'm like, wow, it's bouncing back. Within a couple days, the entire thing has started opening up to where you see it right now, and there's, obviously, as you can see, there's polyp extensions throughout the whole coral. And it hasn't opened up as big as it once was, but I'm just waiting to see talked to a few people no one seems to have any idea what would have caused that I didn't see any fish picking on it of any sort no invertebrates you know making it their home or anything like that so we'll just see on um, this green SPS coral in the back is doing great um, this SPS here the kind of pinkish looking one um, used to be over here and uh, the NEM was touching it and it pretty much almost all died off. You can see it's starting to bounce back now, so I'm just gonna see what happens. Same thing happened with this one. It was right next to this uh, octospawn, and the octospawn started touching it, and it killed off this section here. I'm not sure if I should be breaking that off or if it'll potentially bounce back on its own. Maybe you guys can let me know about that. Uh, mushrooms are doing real well. I got this uh, Christmas Favia right there. That's probably new since last time I did a video. One thing that's really frustrating me though is the Zoas. I just can't seem to get Zoas to grow real well in either tank. I mean, I've got this little colony here that's doing good, this colony that's doing okay. But all the other plugs I've got here, you can see this plug's empty now, that plug's empty, this plug has a couple and then this big piece of rock that used to be down here that I got from our frag swap was completely full. You can see tons of them have either died or been eaten or something. And the ones that are left, hardly any of them are open. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Um, and another piece of kind of crappy news is this octospawn here it used to be like softball size. Now it's smaller than a baseball and you can see that there's two heads that have died or at least completely closed so I'm not sure parameters are all doing well in this tank and nothing seems to be bothering this so I'm not sure what's going on there torch is doing okay back there hammers doing pretty good these two a cans are doing good I had to move these three corals closer to the front because the NEM was touching them 
then of course as soon as I move them the NEM backs off a little bit but or I should say NEMS this is actually two NEMS it just looks like one big one but it continues to get bigger and bigger and and I'm glad it's staying where it's at it would be cool though if it would kind of move like it was a little bit more towards the front of the rock instead of the back uh, this frog spawn here is doing good um, some more trumpet these purple and green trumpets or candy canes I guess you call them they're doing good and the green star polyps are doing good too um, what else all the livestock is doing good I've moved some things around and got some new stuff as you can see I've got a purple tang in here now and a new yellow tang still got the same little scrawny yellow tang that just seems to continue to live and then in the back there um, here it comes I got a new naso tang or naso tang whatever you want to say um, and then what I did is I took the two original clowns from the bio cube and brought them over to here because I ended up figuring out that they were the source of what was killing all my shrimp and everything and uh, uh, in the bio cube so I pulled them out and now shrimp and invertebrates are doing just fine over there but yet this tanks big enough where I've got three cleaner shrimp, a red uh, fire shrimp, and uh, um, some peppermint shrimp as well. Um, all throughout the tank, and they're doing just great. Um, Yellow Watchman Govey still doing good too. And then I've got either one's died or one's just been hiding really well, but I've got these two snowflakes that were in here. Um, the other clowns are picking on him pretty good so he, they may have actually killed the one whether that either other otherwise they're he's somewhere in here sorry <laughs> jumbling over my words there so I don't know that's the 125 I, I guess we'll kind of leave it at that so the video doesn't get too terribly long um, over here is the bio cube 29 gallon you can see I got the Wyoming whites over here now, and then the uh, the small pair of Ocellaris clownfish over here. Uh, torch coral's doing pretty good. Green star polyps doing pretty good. This hammer's doing pretty good. Um, the frog spawn there isn't doing the greatest, but I think it's because the green star polyps are up against it. I'm going to try to move this further over here or possibly put this whole big colony over in the 125 I'm not sure yet um, leather on the top is doing good the Monty's doing really good back there I wish you could see it better all the other corals on the top are doing pretty good too just like the big tank though um, having trouble growing zoas over here you can see I've got the Bam Bams and I've got these other kind of orangish ones in there. Those are doing real well. Um, but I got massive bubble algae right now too. I just put a um, emerald crab in there recently to try to combat that. Um, oh, and then we got the firefish back there. Uh, what else? This toadstool in the back likes to bend over and be up against the glass I think because the windows right there and then I don't know if you remember if I was ever able to show you but I had um, a NEM in here that split it actually into three and it had basically grown super huge super fast and was all over this side of the tank and those clowns that I had in here were basically hosting in there and just it was going really well well as soon as I pulled those out the NEMs are still in here. There's one at the top there. There's a, I don't know, I guess you call that the foot right there of another one. And then there's one more. The, they, they do a little walking and they don't open up very much. Sometimes they'll open up a little bit. I don't know if they're just not digging, not having the clowns in there, or if I irritated them so much when I was trying to net the clowns out. But it's been like three weeks and nothing has changed so we'll just have to see what happens um, let's see I got a cleaner fish doing their cleaner shrimp doing just fine and there's two peppermints in here as well 
Um, just like the other tank, the Duncan right at the edge there is not doing very well. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Um, the green trumpets in the middle there are doing real well. But yeah, that's basically it for right now. Um, any questions, let me know. If you're interested in ordering some Southern Delight fish food, let me know. My email will be down in the description. Be happy to help you out with that. It's a great food and we make it for, I shouldn't say we, but the company makes it for saltwater fish as well as freshwater. It's pretty popular in the freshwater community, but kind of newer to saltwater, so check it out. Um, if you're new to this channel, your first time watching, make sure you subscribe to see all my weekly or bi-weekly or monthly, depending on what I do, updates on all my different tanks. I do also do freshwater and I also do freshwater shrimp. So I'll be glad to, love to have you as a subscriber. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, until the next update, thanks for watching, guys.